Starting your Locker Natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a black owned company that has created an all natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Peace, family. My name is Vicki Dillon, and I'm pleased to be a contributor here on our worldwide network of African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you come in, we ask that you give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share the broadcast. That elevates our voice. You all know that we're the counter voice to the oppressive class. And so we thank you for strengthening our voice when you share this broadcast and give it a big thumbs up. Listen, family. Now, this has been making the news left and right. I'm sure some of you already heard about this, but you all know I had to chime in on this particular topic. Your sister with the curly brains. Watch this clip of this Amy Wax, this professor, law professor, uh, this Ivy League law professor. Let, watch this clip. How is that different from vandalism? It just seems like people coming in and wrecking everything that was valuable in an institution that they never built themselves. It's very reckless and destructive. Um, it's very vindictive. It's 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 very angry. Yeah. Uh, I, Where does I, that anger come from? Do you think? I, I think there is just a tremendous amount of resentment and shame of non-Western peoples against Western peoples for Western peoples outsized achievements and contributions. I mean, it's really unbearable. I was actually, you know, leaving aside American blacks who I think do feel that resentment and, and shame and envy. I mean, it's this unholy brew of sentiments. I was talking to Glenn Lowry about this bizarre fact that um, Asian and South Asian Indian uh, doctors at Penn Med, which I, you know, know I know people there and I know what's going on there, that they're on the ramparts for the anti-racism initiative for Dump on America. America is an evil racist place. How These are it, immigrants. It, the number one highest income group in America right. is... Hate America. Right. A goodly number of so, them, but not all. You're from a group... I mean, first of all, I hate even thinking in terms of groups anyway, because what matters is the individual, obviously. But as long as we are, if you're a member of the highest income, highest achievement group in America, and you're looking down another group, native born whites, for example, and saying you're the problem, like how does that work exactly? Well, that is uh, to me utterly bizarre and fascinating. And why does anybody put up with that? Right, I'm not saying all, no, all in the are this I've way. I'm just it. saying you look at the roster of, you know, who's leading the programs, the, you know, the endless number of programs where they talk about diversity and racism and all the racism that people have to encounter in medicine and how racist medicine is and all this. And you see these brown faces or you see these Asian faces and you think, I mean, literally you think, so you're coming from your country, which you're implying it has you know, a freaking is equal or system. better than our country. <laughs> literally. And you're telling us how awful we are. Well, what's the explanation for that? Okay. Did you hear that? She just sat up here and said that we, black folks in America in particular, of course, she was referring to um, other melanated people, but she took a particular dig at black folk, talking about that we're resentful, that we experience shame, and we're envious, jealous, because of the outside, outsized achievement of, of Westerners, white people. The press of class. Family, let me tell you something real quick. Just like it was intentional that our open enemies put misinformation and lies in our history books, the same reason they tampered with our holy text to make it look like it was the will of God for us to accept and be in slavery. It's intentional that she's saying what she's saying with Tucker Carlson. Let me tell you something. It's not 
that the oppressive class and your caring professors really believe that they have made outside achievements because there is absolutely no evidence anywhere on our planted God today. Not planted, planted. There's every which way they go, they see that the original artifacts, monuments reflect us and other melanated people that are responsible for setting the precedent for civilization, education, science, medicine, religion, name it, it's us. So don't be dismayed when you hear them saying this. They're putting that out there with the hopes that they can still condition and reprogram your mind to believe that you are nothing and that they are everything. God, today, where is my God? For those of you that don't know, your sister with the curly braids, the Vicky show is known to be the home of the hand claps and the gavel raps. Talk black to me. They don't really believe this about themselves, family. I'm just trying to tell you to fear not. It's they're trying to see if we still believe it and they're trying to reinforce in our minds that they still got it going on. Because when they recognize that their white supremacist anti-black world is falling, they're hoping that a few, just a handful of you is kind and you is smart. <laughs> God, today, if y'all wonder who are the you is kind and you is smart, watch the movie The Help. The movie The Help. Viola Davis, she plays the main maid and character in there. She get on my nerves in that movie. And it's set in Mississippi. I'm born, I was born and raised in Mississippi. I live in the wild, wild west now. But Mississippi is my, you know, it's my home. Watch this. So in the movie, in private, she's, she's of course the maid. She's responsible for cooking, cleaning, and making the lives of the open enemy work. God today. Including raising their children. So in the movie, Viola Davis is raising, you know, this little, little, little chubby white girl in the movie and stuff. And so in private, in the little girl's room, the little nursery area, she's telling the little girl, you is kind, you is smart, you is important. Let me tell you something. I've always been of the belief, play the role because we're at war. The number one war in the world is not over in Russia and Ukraine. The number one war that's been everlasting is not just in Afghanistan, beloved. It's not just in Saudi Arabia area and across the waters and other parts of the world. No, the, the war that's been going on, that's uh, arguably the most pernicious, the most fatal, the most violent, is the war against blacks in America and around the world. The most dangerous, the most deadly war, this but it seems to be an everlasting war. But I can promise you this war is getting ready to come to an end because spirit is not having it anymore. We suffered long enough and enough of us are starting to wake up so that we're stopped. We're learning not to cooperate with the system that's responsible for our detriment. We're learning to do for ourselves, love ourselves, build with each other. Somebody talk black to me. So in the movie, Viola is sitting there telling the oppressors, see the little girl that's getting ready to grow into an anti-black Karen, the one that's going to boss her around and screw over the lives of black people. She's privately telling that little girl when the mom and daddy gone, she's telling her privately, you is kind, you is smart, you is important. Let me tell you something. In the in the face of your open enemy, because we're at war, I understand you got to fake the funk in their face and pretend like you care. Like, hey, little girl, little Mary, little Gretchen. You is kind. Long as mom and them around, you supposed to say that to make it so you can look like you're doing your job and you can't. But when they gone, baby, you shouldn't be privately sitting up there talking about you is kind, you is smart. No. If I was the maid, when the mom and daddy left, the only kind of stories the little girl would be getting is bedtime stories about Nat Turner. God, to take. No. If I'm the maid, I'm waiting for the moment I'm hearing the car go put put down the road so I can turn around and say, come here, baby. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you a little story. It's time for your little nap and stuff. Remember this story when you go to bed tonight. 
once upon a time, there was a man named Nat. Rhymes with cat. Say cat. C-A-T, cat. Remember we, I taught you about cat? His name rhymes with cat. His name is Nat. And it was dark one night. And he tiptoed on the stairs. And had a shiny object in his hands. Shiny object? Yes, a shiny object. From the kitchen. <laughs> Talk back to me. And he tiptoed to mommy and daddy's room. And the next day, the little girl was adopted. Adopted? Yes. That's the only little stories you're going to be getting tonight. God, today. And I just, I mean, I went on a little bit of a tangent right there, but I'm just trying to say you got to understand just. How serious and how dangerous these Karens are. These Karens are not cute because they in the park. They're in the park with their dogs calling the police on you, telling you that they know when they call the police, the police is likely to destroy your life, arrest you, put you through the legal system. You'll lose your home, probably your family and a whole bunch of other stuff. They are intentionally just trying to destroy us. They're not cute and demure and feminine. These Karens and Gretchens and Beckys. They're stopping some of y'all from even getting in your own apartment. Some of the video footage shows. They questioning you about your own house. They holding up traffic in the cul-de-sac because they can't believe you live there. Talk back to me. And when you do your research and your history on what was called the WKKK, which was the women's Ku Klux Klan. History shows that the women Ku Klux Klan was even more dangerous than the KKK itself. Because they were able to integrate this anti-black racism through social means. They use government. They use religion. They use the PTA meetings. Do you understand? Playing with their funny looking self. And so it is with this wax optic terrorist. I'm sorry. Y'all know I don't go in on women's looks and stuff like that. I'm someone that's had medical issues and all kinds of stuff. And I'm still, I have some of the effects even with my body. But you can't tell me nothing about uh, me not loving myself, notwithstanding uh, the medical stuff that I've gone through with my body. I embrace myself. But when you're dealing with the, the open, your open enemies, we don't even talk about gender. You don't bring up, oh, she's a woman. No, she's she's a part of the oppressive class that's trying to take us out. Gender don't come up when you're dealing with an open enemy. God, today, you just, just it's just enemy. Your religion don't matter. The, your, your, your gender don't matter. Your little groups and stuff. Your little social, who you identify. No, no, no. You, you the oppressive class. You don't like us. You against us. You don't get the same considerations that I'm going to get as the original woman. God, today. But anywho, family, I just wanted to give you this little update and put my two cents in it to let you know it's not because they believe this. They're trying to see whether or not you do and if they can keep conditioning you. They know that the time for oppressing us is close to over. Somebody talk black to me. I'm your sister with the curly braid. Make sure you go to my website at unpurposewithvicky.com, unpurposewithvicki.com. The link is below. Make sure you also sign up for my channel, vickydillard.tv. I'm on at Vicky Dillard TV or Vicky Dillard on YouTube. Um, I'm going live um, a couple of times a week on my own show. So I just want you to know that I love you so very much. I'm so excited about going live on my on my channel now, VickiDilla.tv. Love you so much. I can't wait to see you again. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app. Now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.